What if I told you that right now, while you're watching this video, a single government document could either make you filthy rich or completely destroy your drone business? The FAA just dropped part 108. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this is the biggest opportunity in commercial aviation since the Wright brothers. We're talking about a $50 billion market that's about to explode. Imagine flying drones 100 miles away without line of sight. Imagine Amazon level delivery contracts falling into the hands of small operators. Imagine never begging for another waiver again. But here's the kicker. 90% of current drone pilots have no idea this is happening. And when they wake up, it'll be too late. In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how part 108 is about to flip the entire industry upside down. Which pilots will get rich, which ones will get crushed, and the three moves you need to make in the next 30 days to position yourself at the top. Let's be brutally honest about part 107. When it launched in 2016, we thought it was revolutionary. Finally, we could make money with drones. But eight years later, most pilots are stuck doing the same basic jobs. Real estate photos, wedding videos, construction progress shots. Why? Because part 107 is like being given a sports car, but only being allowed to drive in a parking lot. Wanna fly beyond visual line of sight? Apply for a waiver and wait six to 12 months. Maybe get approved, probably get rejected. Wanna fly over people? more waivers, want to fly at night, more paperwork, want to carry anything heavier than a GOPRO? Good luck. I know a pilot in Colorado who spent $15,000 on waiver applications over three years. Know how many he got approved? Zero. Meanwhile, he's watching contracts worth millions go to helicopter companies, charging 50 times more than what he could do with a drone. That's the part 107 trap. You can see the money, but you can't reach it. Enter part 108. This isn't just another regulation update. This is the FAA admitting they got it wrong and completely rewriting the playbook. Here's what's about to change everything. First, BVLOS becomes the standard, not the exception. If your drone meets the technical requirements, you can fly miles away without begging for permission. We're talking about operations that were literally impossible for 99% of pilots becoming routine. Second, a two-tier system that favors the prepared. Part 108 creates permits for smaller operations and certificates for complex ones. Translation, if you position yourself correctly, you'll have access to contracts that currently don't even exist. Third, airworthiness standards that level the playing field. Your drone will need to prove safety like a real aircraft. But once it does, you're playing in the same league as manned aviation. Fourth, technology requirements that unlock everything. Remote ID, detect and avoid systems, advanced lighting. Yes, it's more complex, but it's also your ticket to operations worth hundreds of thousands per contract. But here's what nobody's talking about. Part 108 isn't just about making current operations easier. It's about creating entirely new markets that don't exist today. Let me tell you about three pilots who are already positioning themselves for part 108 and why their stories should terrify anyone who's not paying attention. Story number one, the pipeline king. Jake in Texas currently makes $8,000 a month flying pipeline inspections. Sounds good, right? Wrong. Under part 107, he needs spotters every quarter mile, chase vehicles, constant radio contact. He can inspect maybe 10 miles per day. Under part 108, those restrictions vanish. Same pilot, same pipeline, but now he can cover 200 miles per day with advanced drones flying autonomous patterns. His monthly income? It's about to become his weekly income. Story number two, the telecom queen. Sarah in Montana just locked in a five-year contract with a major cellular provider to inspect cell towers. Under part 107, each tower requires a separate flight plan, visual observers, and she can only fly during perfect weather. Part one, 
08 changes everything. She's upgrading to drones that can fly tower to tower autonomously, inspect in low visibility, and cover entire regions without human intervention. Her $50,000 annual contract? It's becoming a $500,000 operation. Story number three, the delivery disruptor. Mike in North Dakota is betting everything on medical deliveries. Right now, he can fly small medical supplies maybe two miles to rural clinics. But he's already talking to hospitals about Part 108 operations, flying blood samples, medications, even small equipment across entire states. We're not talking about hobbyist drone delivery. We're talking about replacing ambulances and medical helicopters for routine transport. His projected year one revenue under Part 108, $2.3 million. And here's the terrifying part. All three of these pilots started preparing 18 months ago. They didn't wait for the rules to be final. They didn't wait for someone else to figure it out first. They saw the writing on the wall and moved. You need to understand the scale of what's happening. The commercial drone market is projected to hit $50 billion by 2030. But that's based on part 107 limitations. Part 108 doesn't just grow that market, it explodes it. Infrastructure inspection alone is a $40 billion annual market currently dominated by helicopters and uh, aircraft. Part 1. 08 makes 80% of those operations perfect for drones. Logistics and delivery is a $300 billion market where drones currently handle maybe 0.01%. Part 1. 08 could capture 10 to 15% within five years. Emergency response spends $25 billion annually on operations that drones could do faster, cheaper, and safer. But here's the thing. This opportunity has an expiration date. The FAA comment period closes soon. And once Part 108 is finalized, the rush begins. Early movers get the premium contracts. Everyone else fights for scraps. Amazon, UPS, FedEx. They're not worried about Part 108. They have armies of lawyers and unlimited budgets. The question is, will you be ready to compete? Or will you watch from the sidelines as others build drone empires? Now, let's talk reality. Part 1. 08 isn't a free pass. It's a higher bar. But that higher bar is also your competitive moat. Remote ID compliance is just the start. Your drone needs to broadcast its location, identity, and mission to air traffic control in real time. Most consumer drones can't do this yet. Detect and avoid technology means your drone needs to see and avoid other aircraft automatically. We're talking about advanced sensors, AI processing, and split-second decision-making. Airworthiness certification means your drone needs to prove it won't fall out of the sky. Think aircraft-grade redundancy, fail-safe systems, and documented maintenance procedures. Advanced weather capabilities, because Part 108 operations will happen in conditions where Part 107 pilots are grounded. Here's why this is actually fantastic news. These requirements will eliminate 90% of current drone operators. They'll look at the cost and complexity and walk away. That means less competition for those of us willing to invest. I'm already seeing the shift. DJI is scrambling to meet Part 108 requirements. Skydio is repositioning their entire product line. Smaller manufacturers are either going all in on compliance or shutting down. The industry is about to consolidate around pilots and equipment that can handle the new reality. Here's your action plan. And I'm not joking when I say you need to start today. Phase one, information warfare. Next 30 days. Download and read the entire part 108 NPRM. Yes, all 400 plus pages. Your competitors won't. Bookmark the FAA docket and check for updates weekly. Join part 108 discussion groups on LinkedIn and Facebook. Knowledge is power, and most pilots will stay ignorant until it's too late. Phase two, strategic investment. Next 90 days, start upgrading your equipment now before prices skyrocket. Focus on drones under 55 pounds with remote ID capability 
invest and detect, and avoid accessories. Start relationships with insurance providers who understand part one. 08, most pilots will wait until the rules are final. By then, equipment will be back ordered for months. Phase three, market positioning. Next 180 days, identify potential clients who need BVLOS operations. Start conversations with utility companies, telecom providers, logistics companies. Don't wait for the certificate. Build relationships now. When part 108 goes live, you wanna be first in line for contracts. Phase four, certification preparation. Start studying for the new certifications. Part 108 will require. Take advanced meteorology courses. Learn air traffic control procedures. Get familiar with airworthiness standards. The pilots who get certified first will have six to 12 months with virtually no competition. But here's the most important part. Document everything. Every hour you spend preparing, every dollar you invest, every relationship you build. Part one, 08 will create a paper trail of who was ready and who wasn't. That paper trail becomes your competitive advantage. Here's my bold prediction. Part 108 will create more millionaire drone pilots in the next three years than Part 107 created in eight years. But it won't be the pilots doing wedding videos or real estate photography. It'll be the ones who saw this opportunity coming and positioned themselves for the big leagues. I'm talking about pilots who build Part 108 compliant operations and then license their services to major corporations pilots who become the go-to experts for specific industries, pilots who build teams and scale operations beyond what any individual can handle. The pilot in Texas I mentioned earlier, he's not just upgrading his equipment, he's building a pipeline inspection company. By 2027, he projects having 20 drones, eight pilots, and contracts across five states. The woman in Montana. She's already talking to cell tower companies about becoming their exclusive drone partner for the entire Rocky Mountain region. This isn't about getting slightly better drone jobs. This is about building drone empires, while most pilots are still figuring out how to use their current equipment. <laughs> Here's what keeps me up at night, and what should keep you up too. The FA. A comment period for part 108 closes in just weeks. Once it closes, the rules get finalized and the gold rush begins. But by then, the early movers will already be 12 to 18 months ahead. Think about part 107. The pilots who got certified on day one in August 2016 had the market to themselves for months. They set the pricing, they got the premium clients, they built the relationships. Everyone else has been fighting for scraps ever since. Part 108 is that opportunity again, but 100 times bigger. Right now, while you're watching this video, pilots in Texas, Montana, North Dakota, and across the country are already preparing. They're buying equipment, building relationships, and positioning themselves for the biggest opportunity in commercial aviation history. But here's the problem. Most pilots have no idea how to turn their drone hobby into a real business. They think they need to wait for part 108 to start making serious money. They're wrong. That's exactly why I created the Drone Business Launch Pack. This isn't just another course. This is the complete blueprint for building a profitable drone business right now, using current regulations. The fastest path to profits while everyone else is waiting around for new rules. Inside the Drone Business Launch Pack, you get the exact systems I use with my private consulting clients who are already making six figures. The equipment buying guide that saves you from costly mistakes. The client prospecting templates that land five and six figure contracts. The legal and insurance frameworks that protect your business. And the scaling strategies that turn weekend hobbyists into full-time operators. But here's the thing. I'm only making this available to the first 100 people who take action. Why? Because I don't want to flood the market with competitors. I want to work with serious pilots who are ready to dominate their local markets. The question isn't whether part 108 will create millionaires. It will. The question is whether you'll be one of them or whether you'll be watching from the sidelines, wondering what could have been. 
if you're ready to stop playing small and start building a real drone business, click the link in the description right now to get your drone business launch pack. But don't wait. When those 100 spots are gone, they're gone. The revolution starts now. The question is, are you in or are you out? Click the link below and let's build your drone empire together.